In this tutorial, we will teach you how to add different style and filters to a clip in Adobe Premiere. For this tutorial, we will be working with this wildlife footage. Here we have a female elephant standing near her baby, which is portraying the natural relation between a mother and her child. So let's add a little depth to the scene. We will be adding a film-saturated color theme, where the subject will be more focused than the surroundings. For that, go to the Effect panel and type Calculations. From the results, you can see the effect within the Channel category. Simply drag and drop the effect on the video layer like so. Now we will move to the Effect Control panel and configure the effect. For example, here we will select the gray option from the input channel, which will convert the whole footage into grayscale mode. This will adjust the channel levels to the luminance value of the original pixel. Now let's move to the second layer channel and select the RGBA option from the menu. This selects the channel from the second layer, which is blended with the original input channel selected. Make sure that Video 1 is selected from the second layer option over here. This basically shows the source for the effect. Now let's reduce the second layer's opacity to 50% in order to saturate the scene with the original footage. Next, let's move to the blending mode. Here you will see a long list of presets to choose from, for example, soft light or color burn, etc. The blending mode determines how pixels in the footage will be affected by these presets over here. Like in this case, let's use the soft light option. This will darken the color channel values of the underlying layer according to the source color. Once done, apply the Find Edges video effect from the Effect menu. Here we will first set the blend with original option to 100% and click on the Toggle Animation button to animate the filter. With that done, let's move the Seek bar at the end of the clip. Here we will set the blend with original option to 40%. Next we will add the keyframes by selecting the pen tool and adding keyframes both at the beginning and at the end of the sequence. For example, here we will add two points. After that, we will take the very first keyframe and pull it down like so. This will give a fade in effect. The same is to be done for the ending to give a fade out effect. With that taken care of, our effect is complete. Now let's compare the result with the original clip. Here is the original footage as it was shot, and here is the result after we have digitally added depth to the clip. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.